it's already written from the day you were born. That's written. The day you're going to go, it's written. I discovered that through these near-death experiences. I believe at least four times out of the six or three times out of the six or five, whatever, I should have been dead. There's absolutely no logic no logical explanation that I should have stayed alive. All evidence and everything that I examined was pointing out that you should have been dead. But somehow, through the grace, something, some force, didn't want me to die. It kept me alive. When you come close all these times to dying and something keeps you alive, something snaps inside you, something breaks inside you, something changes inside you. Because the number one thing is you lose your fear of death. This major fear that is haunting a lot of you. You know, there's one thing to say sitting in a spiritual situation and saying, oh, I'm not afraid of death. But there's another different story if you seriously are about to die is two different stories when you're facing it and you're that close to it then it's a different story and when you get close to it so many times and you're spared you realize you feel the presence of something much bigger than you you can no longer allow yourself to keep saying, look at me, look at me, I am great, I'm powerful, I'm almighty, I'm the author of my own life, look how strong I am, I do whatever I want, it's my will to do this, it's my will to do that, that leaves you can't say it anymore because you become humble. And I appreciate it, even though there were very difficult situations and definitely a couple of them were very clear that this is the end and there is no turning back. And I saw in a few of them all of my life pass in front of me. I saw everything. Everything passed in front of me. Like a film. Fast forward film. Woo, you, 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 you. And I, one of them saw, even saw my funeral. That my mother was weeping over my grave. She was beating herself up. She was crying out that, that I had died. I even saw that. So what happens is, <laughs> yeah, I pay attention to what I eat. I pay attention to my habits. But I'm not religious about anything. If I feel like I want to have a cigarette right now after the academy I'll go buy a pack of cigarettes and have a cigarette I don't give a shit what anybody thinks or I'm spiritual or non-spiritual or it's bad for my health 
or whatever. If I want to do it, I do it. Without any explanations to anyone or anything. If I really want to do something and it's within my reach, I do it. Because I'm no longer under the illusion or I'm no longer being ignorant. Let's put it this way. I don't carry this ignorance and being in this illusion that this body is going to be around forever or whatever I do or I don't do it's going to expand the life of this body. I'm not under that illusion any longer. Now, do I, f you know, like I'm in California, Southern California, and everybody's so worried about eating organic food. It's non-GMO. It's not radiated. There's no toxic waste to it. And the whole idea of a lot of people I know on spiritual path, they're so concerned about the food they eat. And it's okay. And it's great that there's this awareness is taking over the planet of eating healthy, um, eating organic food, paying attention. And that's fantastic. But... Now I can see it's turning to a fanatism and I can see the some people are so hung up on it and as if their life their lives is depending on being vegan or eating organic or not having oh I can't touch alcohol or oh cigarettes or Oh, da, 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 or, you know, it's just like a cold, in a way. And you have to be a part of that, or something's wrong with you. And thank God to these near-death experiences, because I'm free from that, too. I don't care. I eat anything I want. I don't eat junk food. I basically have good eating habits in comparison but I don't really care. I don't pay much attention to any of these things because I've gone beyond that. It was maybe important at one point but it doesn't do anything for me because it's not going to make me live longer or shorter. What it does is affects the quality of my life. If I eat junk food or the wrong kind of food, yes, it creates indigestion. And that makes me uncomfortable. And I don't want that. But none of it is for me to live longer or live shorter. <laughs>